Hi guys, welcome back to MotoBJJ.com and I have with me Kevin Hooks, he's one of my blue belts. We're getting ready for Naga coming up on June 2nd, so we've been training real hard today, so the, we're all sweating, the mats are really sweaty and it's, uh, we've had a really good time. Uh, Fluff and, and Sean and Steph are here, we're just kind of hanging out, uh, getting ready. So, Tony C asked me about a cool technique that he could do from open guard when both people are kind of in a neutral position we want with Tony on his butt and Kevin in position zero or basically on his knees either one will work uh, so here you go for Ask a Black Belt so I am on my butt and just one thing real quick I want to talk about I want to make sure when I'm an open guard that I'm somewhat rock forward and I can at least touch my toes and I want to make sure I'm not exceeding a 9 degree bend between my calf and my hamstring and my toes are active, so I'm really leaning forward. If I'm up too straight, Kevin could possibly push me back, and then I don't want to be an open guard on my back necessarily, especially in no gi. So I'm forward. What I'm looking for is to get two-on-one -on -one control. Now I have my left hand grabbing Kevin's right hand, and my right hand will come and hook behind his elbow. Now, as soon as I get this, I'm going to scoot in, and I'm going to then use my right foot as I'm pulling and pushing with my foot. Now I don't want to go too deep, but I want to lean back onto my elbow. And I'm not going to start to push with my left hand as I start to turn. I'm going to bring my knee up and over onto Kevin's uh, shoulder. And you notice how the back of my foot is on the, his, on the, my lower shins on his head. All I have to do to finish is tuck my elbow in tight and he just submitted. Now, if Ke can you come around here, Phil, and see this angle on the side? Now, all Kevin has to do to somewhat avoid this is to turn his thumb, which will take his arm out of alignment. So I'm going to continue to keep the arm controlled, and as I set through, I'm going to hook onto his foot and grab his waist. And now to finish, I just have to push, and it's a Kimura, but it's somewhat like a reverse uh, Kimura, all right, or reverse Omoplata. Let's try it again. So I'm an open guard, Kevin has one leg up, control, push, pull, drop to my elbow, leg comes over. If I pinch, I might have it, he turns his elbow just in case, I come through, trap, hooking up, he tries to roll forward, I have my head to catch his legs, and then the fin, I'm also hooking on the back of his foot, and then I just drive his arm forward, and he submits from me. Reverse omoplata. All right, let's try it again. So come in, drop, rotate, hook, control. And that's that. Pushing it down. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Hope that show is all right. <laughs> We're really tired. We've been training hard. So always, always be careful, guys, when you're training. You don't want to overtrain. Always give yourself enough time to recover from a hard training session, make sure you really hydrate and get plenty of rest. And uh, listen to your body, because it's important, all right? Thanks so much, Tony, I hope that helps. And good luck, brother. I'll see you up there. Later, guys.